I'm Bill Sturm. I'm the city forester here in Oshkosh, so I'm glad that you could all be here for us today. And uh, uh, we have a few guests. Um, we have the uh, utility companies, we have the Wisconsin DNR, um, and uh, some other uh, dignitaries here that will be involved with uh, our tree planting a little later on. Um, the mayor is evidently not going to make it, so what I would like to do is uh, read the proclamation that she created for us, uh, designating, designating today, May 1st, 2019, as Arbor Day in the city of Oshkosh. So, whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees, and whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than one million trees in the state of Nebraska, and Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and world. And whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cutting heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife, and whereas trees are a renewable resource giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products, and whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community, and whereas wherever they are planted, they are a source of joy and spiritual renewal, and whereas Oshkosh has been recognized as a Tree City USA by the National Arbor Day Foundation for the 38th consecutive year. Now, therefore, I, Lori Palmieri, the mayor of the city of Oshkosh, do proclaim Wednesday, May 1st, 2019, as Arbor Day in the city of Oshkosh, and urge all citizens to celebrate Arbor Day and to support efforts to protect our trees and woodlands and to support our city's urban forestry program. So happy Arbor Day, everyone. So next, I'd like to have Tracy come up from Wisconsin DNR, and she has some awards to present. So uh, we have, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Wisconsin Public Service, which is the energy company that provides the electricity and natural gas to our community, and American Transmission Company, which also provides electric service to our community. And they're uh, participating with us in our community forestry effort because uh, we want to make sure that the trees that we grow are compatible with the utility lines that come in and, and uh, serve the city. Uh, because if a storm were to happen, we don't want a tree to fall on a power line and knock out your power. So we work very closely with uh, the energy companies to, to help us plant correct trees um, near the power facilities so that we don't lose power in storms, hopefully. So um, with that, I'll pass it along to Tracy, and then she can uh, present the awards. Um, good morning. I'm here to present uh, four very special awards, and the first is to the city of Oshkosh. So, um, maybe I can have a student hold. Sure. I've, 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 I've got too many flags to hold. <laughs> can you hold that for me? Thank you. So, my first award is uh, to the city of Oshkosh, and we'll unfurl the flag, and maybe we'll step... There we go. Um, and this is a national award, so communities all across the United States can qualify for Tree City. And I believe this is the 38th? 38th year. 38th year. So the city of Oshkosh has been a Tree City for 38 years. That's a long time. So um, in order to be a Tree City, uh, Oshkosh needs to meet four standards. The first is to have a forestry program and a city forester, and that's Bill. Um, the second is to uh, spend $2 per person that lives in the city on their forestry program. The third is to have a tree ordinance, and a tree ordinance is a law that protects the trees within the community. And the fourth is to have an Arbor Day celebration and proclamation. So by you students being here today, you're actually helping the city get their award for next year. So thank you, give yourselves a hand. Thank you very much. So this is your award too. So um, to make it official, on behalf of 
of the Arbor Day Foundation in the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. I'm honored to present the city of Fonda, or, ooh, I screwed up. That, that's a difference. <laughs> I, I, I presented the Fond du Lac last week. I knew I was gonna do that. I do too many of these. How many years are they though? Not as, not as not many 38. as Oshkosh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, I will start over again. On behalf of the Arbor Day Foundation and the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, I'm honored to present the city of Oshkosh with their 2018 Tree City USA Award. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Thank you. The mayor is here. Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining us for this celebration. Okay, I think we will do, do we have representatives from UW Oshkosh? I didn't see anyone yet, so. So do we want to wait and do uh, Let's wait uh, okay. a little bit. But. So then we will do the tree line. So who would like to be first, ATC? <laughs> okay, we'll unfurl this flag. Oh, you got that, okay, this is. That's true, that's. Tree campus. I get them all mixed up. There's, there's, there's too many flags. So, um, I am very honored to present uh, the Tree Line USA Award to American Transmission Company, and I believe this is the tenth year that ATC has been what's called a Tree Line, and this is a special award for uh, utility companies to qualify for, and it's not an easy award to receive. Um, the utility companies need to jump through um, a lot of criteria to become a tree line, but we all want reliable energy, and we also want beautiful trees in our community. So uh, the designation of a, a tree line USA uh, shows that the utility company has made a conscious decision to have um, reliable uh, electricity and trees coexist. And I just want to commend uh, American Transmission Company for uh, being a tree line for, for 10 years. So on behalf of the Arbor Day Foundation and the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, I'm honored to present American Transmission Company with their 2018 Tree Line USA Award. Congratulations. Got a share flag? <laughs> <laughs> we got ours. Wisconsin Public Service has been a uh, tree line for, is it 20, 24? 24 years. Oh, that's a long time. So, again, um, uh, this WPS has made a commitment for um, reliable electricity and maintaining trees um, near the utility lines so that they can coexist. And uh, so, congratulations on 24 years and on behalf of the Arbor Day Foundation and the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, I'm honored to present Wisconsin Public Service with your 2018 Tree Line USA Award. So congratulations. Good job. There we go. Thanks for jumping in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now we have um, another um, type of award, and it's called Tree Campus USA, and this is for colleges and universities that have made a commitment to make sure that their campuses have trees. And it has, there's research that has shown that students, like yourselves, if you can see trees and green outside, um, that you learn. Um, it's easier to learn, your attention span, you, you pay attention longer. So trees are really important to us. Um, just think when you see a tree, they help us learn. So uh, UW Oshkosh, has been a tree campus since their ninth year. And again, they need to meet a number of requirements to be a tree campus. 
and they need to have a, a plan for their trees on the campus. They need to have a group that uh, meets regularly and uh, has a plan for the trees that they do an Arbor Day event. So um, UW Oshkosh has done that for the last nine years and uh, I just want to say congratulations. So um, on behalf of the Arbor Day Foundation and the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, I'm honored to present UW uh, Oshkosh with your 2018 Tree Campus.